Hi folks, welcome to uh, this video. I'm going to talk to you about my boot collection. I figured I'd go and have a series of uh, videos where I talk about all the shoes that I have. And if there's one that you would like to know more of, maybe I can do a video of that one if I haven't uh, done it already. Um, I'm gonna call these the good, the bad, and the ugly because some of these are nice boots, some of these are not so good boots and some of them I definitely would not recommend but I'm gonna talk to you about all of them so let me start with these uh, pair of boots oh these are the oldest that I have it's a pair of uh, floor shine this model is called the Essex and this particular model you can still get um, at the floor shine store i actually just checked today you can get it for 135 dollars although i think uh, this was a uh, blake stitch when i got it i think that and i'm not sure so take these with a grain of salt i don't know if they're uh, blake stitch now or if they're just cemented uh, because the one that i saw today the the picture looked very very fake stitching so i don't know if it's real or not um but these were blade stitch. These are the first boots that I got. Uh, they're it's kit, kit skin. And I got them because uh, my brother actually had these pair of shoes when I was in uh, middle school. So I always remember that. Um, and I thought that they didn't sell them anymore. But when I started working, I saw them at the floor, floor chime store. So I bought them. And it turns out if you go to the uh, to the website, you can still you can still get it. Um, the one thing that I like about it is the kid skin. It's always uh, very shiny. The thing that I don't like is the heels are pretty pretty high for me. So it's not the most comfortable shoe for, for me to wear. And that's why I bought these uh, second pair, which is uh, made by Kenneth Cole. Now, Kenneth Cole is not uh, known for quality uh, shoes. Uh, but this has been actually uh, very good to me. I've had it for about 15 years and they're very dressy, very stylish. The leather is very uh, soft. Um, I actually did a search online to see if I could find it and I couldn't find it um, on any store. So I don't know if you can uh, buy these um, anymore. And to be honest, I, I got it because it had a lower heel stack than the other one. In the floor shine and it didn't have any designs I, I wanted a very plain uh, boot so that's all I'm gonna say about this one this is one of the ugly in the good the bad and the ugly review it's a uh, it's a zip boot It's made by English laundry I would not recommend this this is a genuine leather upper cemented uh, sole so I, I really only wear it when it's raining um, but it's genuine uh, leather so it's very porous so you really have to put a lot of um, um, waterproofing uh, to make sure that your feet uh, stay uh, dry definitely a boot that I would not wear or I would not uh, recommend but um, bad weather that's why I wear these boots then my brother recommended um, fry boots. And this is my first pair of uh, fry boots. They look like lace ups, but they're also a uh, zip. I got these used on eBay and they were extremely, extremely comfortable. These are the Bowery lace up boots. And um, they have double soles. And I'm not sure how you call these, but I would call these mini lugs. Uh, double leather soles, very, very comfortable. Uh, they run a half size uh, large. So these are size nine, which is my size. They're a little bit too big. And that's why recently I just bought these ones. These are the same boots, eight and a half, and they fit me uh, perfect. Uh, Fry doesn't uh, have mul uh, different widths. So if you're a, a size medium, size regular, it'll probably fit you. Uh, if you're a wide boot, uh, 
the fried woods probably won't fit you. These over here are my first pair of uh, chukkas. They're Allen Edmonds Dundee 2.0. They're made on the 65 last. They fit true to size. Although I would say that the heel is pretty wide. I think I think the best thing about these chukkas is the value. You have leather uppers, leather soles, uh, 360 65 degree welt for usually they're on sale for about 150. Uh, not the best fit for my for my foot. They fit fine on the on the front, um, but it really lacks that shaping in the back to really hold your heel. So sometimes I feel like I'm wearing flip flops um, because my my heel moves a little bit too much. So after that, I got these uh, Sterlings, and Sterlings are the Chukka uh, version of the McTavish. So if you like the McTavish, you might like the Sterling. And these are uh, made in doubling um, leather, which is a pull-up leather. Although the uh, the black doesn't show up the pull-up effect, only the uh, the tan does that. Uh, they rung a little uh, large, so I got these in eight and a half. Uh, now I got them eight and a half D. I'm normally a nine D. The length is fine. I did have to stretch it uh, for them to fit uh, better. So if you're considering this, I would go a half size smaller and one width higher than your normal width. But I really like them. I really like the uh, mini lug. Uh, soles or however you call these uh, commando I'm, I'm really not sure how you call these uh, pattern here but I really like them they're very comfortable uh, boots these ones are made by uh, Wolverine 1000 miles is part of their 1000 mile collection they're called the Montague and I got them just because I was at Nordstrom's rack and they had a really, really nice uh, discount. These were about half price uh, new. And they have, it's kind of like a combination leather uh, rubber sole. Uh, you can see that they basically slice the sole to half depth and, and they put half of it as uh, rubber. The the sizing is uh, about half half a size larger than your brand device. So these ones I got eight and a half, um, and they are pretty snug. Um, so they they come with a removable insole. I removed that one because it had just way too much padding, and I put uh, a Dr. Schultz insole, and that just fits a lot better for me. Then uh, I have here a pair of Higgins Mill, which are one of my two favorite. I would say that my two favorite boots are the Higgins Mill and the Fry. And a close third is this one that I haven't talked to yet. But this one, the it has a Chrome Excel uh, leather upper. This particular one has a day night sole. It is super comfortable i just went on a four mile uh, walk yesterday and i could have gone a lot a lot further um they are roomy on the uh, toe this is a size 9d uh, i got them on ebay so i didn't have the luxury of sizing um of, of just picking any size uh, now that i've worn these for quite a bit i would go a half size uh smaller so if I were to get these uh, boots again, I would go eight and a half. I would go half size uh, smaller. And I think that's part of why it has, you can see that these ones have more creasing than most of my boots. I think because there's so much room in the, uh, in the toe box that even if I put uh, shoe trees, um, they just 
they just get too much uh, creasiness. But very, very comfortable. I highly recommend these boots. These are, when I'm dressing up, uh, these are my favorite. They are made by Fry, and these are called the um, Chase. So these are the Fry's Chase Chuckas. And they're made of Italian uh, leather. Very, very, very nice and supple. And they have uh, double soles, 365 uh, degree welt, double leather soles with nice uh, details. So this is super elegant, super comfortable. Like I said, when, when I'm wearing, uh, when I'm dressed up and I want to wear a pair of boots, this is my go-to. Next up, I have the Daltons. The Daltons have a fierce following. These are made by Ali Edmund. And a lot of people really, really enjoy these, uh, these boots. They're very elegant with the uh, wingtip design and with the uh, broguing. They are a bit narrow. So these are 9D and I had to stretch this one in order to wear it. If I were to get them again, I would get a, a width larger. So I would go 9E. So that would be my, my advice. These particular ones also come with uh, leather soles. And like most Alley they're 365 degree uh, welted. Very nice, uh, very elegant uh, boots. Here is the Rocky Highlines, or Rocky's Highline, which are from Ellie Edmonds. And they look like hiking boots. And I made a video about these. They're not really hiking boots, but if you go trail walking, they'll be good for you. Uh, the best thing that they have is this system of lacing, uh, which is just very, very easy to tighten your laces and also to remove your foot because it, it has very low friction. So getting in and out of these boots is really, really easy. I wear these boots when I know that I'm going to have to take them, uh, take them on and off uh, a few times throughout the day. Uh, they're fully uh, gusseted to the, to the end, to the top here. Very, very good. Um, they don't sell these ones at Elliottman anymore but they have a pair of uh, boots that looks very very similar to this they call the rockies high instead of the rockies high line which is what this one is and the rockies high is in their uh, waterproof collection so it's it's one of the boots that they have that is made with um, waterproof uh, leather highly recommend they're very comfortable i already talked about this one and my latest um, acquisition is this pair of Bastonian Chuckas. And I got these just because I saw them at the store. And, uh, you know, Bastonian had been going down in quality for, for many years. And I saw these, and it's a leather upper, leather soles, and 365 degree uh, welted. So I just had to check it out. They sell for $70. So you can find them at the Nordstrom's Rack um, or the 6 p.m. Uh, website or Zappos online. And in all of those places, it's somewhere between $60 and $70. Um, so I had to check out and find out what could you get for that little price and uh, what was it that they're cutting corners. So I've only worn it uh, once, uh, so I don't have a lot to say right now. Um, I'll be making a video on it when I fully uh, wear it more times and I have a better opinion. They are comfortable. Um, the one thing that, I, that I'll say right away is the sizing go down. They're, they're, they're very roomy, so go down half a size. These are eight and a half. Um, the things that, are, that you can see right away is that the leather sole is 
about half the thickness that you normally have on other boots. So that is one place where they uh, cut corners. Um, and it doesn't seem to have a cork in the sole. It seems to be more of a foam, foam pad. Um, those are my initial observations. Uh, but I'll be making a, a full video once I wear it more um, and have a better opinion. And that is it. That is my boot collection. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks.